Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Science at Home. So we decided to make an episode specially for Maths Week. And in this episode, we're going to recreate an experiment that was done by a Greek mathematician over 2000 years ago. We're going to just use some sticks and a ruler, and we're going to measure the size of planet Earth. And once you see how we do it, you'll be able to do this at home as well. So let's go see how can we measure planet Earth. Now we should all know that the Earth is a sphere, a big round ball. But the thing is, we're such teeny tiny little specks on the edge of this sphere that we don't even notice it's curved. It just looks flat to us. Well, we're going to repeat this experiment by this Greek mathematician whose name was Eratosthenes, and he was able to prove that the Earth is a sphere and also calculate the distance the whole way around, which we call the circumference. And he was able to do it all using only shadows. Now, I have two objects here that represent, we'll say, a tall tower or a stick stuck in the ground at two different locations. And we have light coming in here that represents the light from the sun coming straight on. What you will notice is the object closer to the equator, yeah, in the middle of the sphere, has a quite a short little shadow. Whereas the object further north has a long shadow. And the reason for that is this one is tilted because it's on a curved surface. So what Eratosthenes was able to figure out was, if I can measure the difference in the lengths of the shadow for two identical objects, with one in the south and one in the north, I'll be able to figure out how big of a curve they must be on, and that must be the circumference of the planet Earth. So what we're going to do today is, we're going to go to a location in the north of Ireland, yeah, and we're going to measure the length of our shadow, and at the exact same time, when the sun is directly overhead, we're going to go to a location in the south and measure the same length of the shadow, and we should be able to figure out from the differences the circumference of the Earth. But wait, I can't be in two locations at the same time. I'm going to need another physicist. I know just who to call. Sorka, come on, Sorka, come on, Sorka, answer the phone, answer the phone. Come on. Why, hello. Hey, Sorka, how's things? Things are good, how are you, Dad? Good, great, great, great. I'll tell you something, I need your help for another physics emergency, okay? I want you okay. to grab a stick, and I want you to grab a level, and I want you to grab a ruler, and I want you to go straight to Porta Down as soon as you can. I'll explain more on the way, is that cool? I'm on it, let's go. Fantastic. All right, so Circa is on our way from Dublin up to Porta Down, and we're trying to get from Mullingar down to Kilmore Quay in County Wexford. So if we can both take a measurement of the length of the shadow of the sun, one of us way up in the north, the other one way down in the south, at exactly solar noon, when we're just in line with each other, we should be able to figure out the circumference of the Earth. Now, what way do we go? South! Okay, we're about halfway to Kilmore Quay. I'm just gonna call Circa and see where she is. Hopefully she made it to the train. Hey, Circa, did you make it to the train? Yep, we're on the train to Porta Down now. Fantastic, we're on our way to Wexford. Wexford? Where are you going south if I'm going north? Well, you see, we're going to recreate Eratosthenes' experiment. Oh, so we need two different shadows to measure. Exactly, and from that we'll be able to get the circumference of the Earth. The important thing is that you make it to Porta Down for solar noon. Solar noon? What? You have to make it on time because otherwise the experiment won't work. It'll all be out of whack. Okay, I'll, I'll do what I can do. I'll talk to the driver of the train now. Perfect. Thank you, Circa. I knew you could do it. We made it to Kilmore Quay and just in time for solar noon. So we're going to set up our equipment here on the beach and I'm going to check with Circa to make sure that she made it to her place on time and then we'll be able to take our measurements. So let's do that. So, we need our big stick to cast the shadow, we need a perfectly flat level surface to put the shadow on, and we need a big ruler to be able to measure it. So that's what we've done here. I've leveled the surface with my spirit level, it's just right, and now I'm going to hammer in this stick to be exactly a metre long. So let's do that. 
Now I have to check with Sorka to make sure she's getting a measurement too at the same time. Come on, Sorka. Sorka, Sorka, are you getting a shadow? Is there clouds? You can see a shadow? Brilliant. Are you able to take a measurement now? Because I'm taking a measurement right now. Oh, three, two, one, let's go, do it. Go, go, go. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> hey, I'm 72.8. What are you? Oh, let me check. Oh, we're more than that, Dan. We're about 85.2. 85.2? So your shadow is about that much longer than our one is. Oh my God, it's about 10 centimeters of a difference. So we have a stick that's the same length in two different places, but the shadows are a different length. So the only reason for that can be that the earth is round and we're at different positions on the earth. That's fantastic, we've proven it. Now all we have to do is go home. Yes, we did it, we did it, Circa, good job. Now we just have to go home, analyze the mats and figure out the actual number for the circumference. But it has to be round because the shadows are different. Yes, thank you, Circa, bye-bye. We finally met at home. That was a lot of driving. Now it's time to do the maths. So the first thing I would do here is draw a big circle to represent the earth. Now we put our sticks down into the earth. One was a bit further north, one was a bit further south. So you want to draw a stick coming out of the earth. But one very important thing. If you put a stick straight down into the earth, dead straight, so we check that with our spirit levels, then that means that stick is pointing exactly towards the dead center. So you can draw a line from your stick right back to the center of the earth for the two sticks. So now we can see, we're st it's starting to look like something you might see in a maths book or something. The next thing you have to draw is the lines of the sun, the sunlight. Now that's coming straight across, okay? The sunlight comes straight across because the sun is so far away. And what you'll notice is if you draw a sunbeam, directly towards the very tip of your of your stick, you'll see it casts a shadow. And now what you're going to see is a triangle being formed. Now triangles are super important in maths. So you'll see two triangles and both of them look a little bit different. Now what we're able to figure out if we do a little bit of maths, if we know the length of our shadow, which is one side of the triangle, and the height of our stick, which is the other side of the triangle, we can figure out the angles. Okay, takes a little bit of trigonometry, okay, but it's totally possible to do. Now, another little trick of trigonometry tells us that those particular angles there must be exactly equal to the angles on the inside of the earth. Yeah, you see what I mean? Those ones are exactly equal. So that means if we subtract one from the other, we're able to figure out the angle between the two points on the earth where we were standing, okay? So that was kill more key and port it down. If the earth is a whole circle, the difference between the two of them was 2.5 degrees. Okay, that's how we measure angles. All right, we should also know that a circle, the whole way around a circle is always 360 degrees. Yeah? Well, what we need to figure out then is what was the distance between the two points? Well, we know that the distance from where we were, kill more key, up to Porter Down, if you measure it, you could drive it in a car, you can measure it, it's 250 kilometers. So now we know that 250 kilometers equals 2.5 degrees of a difference. And if we do a little bit more maths, we can jumble some bits around and we can figure out, well, if 2.5 degrees is 250 kilometers, what's 360 degrees the whole way around? The answer we came up with was 36,000 kilometers. That's our answer for the circumference of the Earth. So what's the real answer that they've measured nowadays? The real answer is 40,000 kilometers. So we were off by a bit, but these things happen in science. It's not always so exact. And why do you think we were off? Well, I had a hard time judging the very edge of, the, of our shadow because there was a little bit of a cloud, it was a bit difficult. So even being off by just a little bit, a centimeter, half a centimeter, can throw off the whole measurement. So what I would recommend to you to do if you were trying doing this yourself is use the tallest stick you can because it's going to give you a smaller error. And what you should also do is try and find a friend who's as far south as possible. So we were just here, just 250 kilometers of a difference. 
Eratosthenes was had 800 kilometers between his two points. So let's say if you had a friend somewhere down in maybe Nigeria or somewhere like that, that's really far south, you could call them and ask them to do the experiment at the exact same time as you at solar noon. Then you'd have a far more accurate result. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. We certainly enjoyed it. And I hope that you'll someday try this experiment yourself. And I'd just like to thank Circa one more time for her help. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon on the next one.